while it is surprising to announce that Jag may have actually grown some balls in this game for the first time all season, which we will get to, but we must start by talking about Blue. And over the past several days now, Blue has been getting on my nerves with her being very naive about where Jag and Matt stand with her in this game. And when she went up on the block, she wasn't believing that it was Jag or Matt's doing. Although I think it's at, a, at a certain point in the back of her mind, she was certain that it might have been Jag. And in the end, though, I do feel like it may have benefited her and benefited the week and benefited a lot of us that she ended up playing that way. You know, Blue is somebody who started this game not playing very much and was on my nerves about not playing very much, but once she started playing, I've tried to give her credit that I don't feel a lot of people like to give her, that she has done a very good job socially at times, but more importantly, I do feel like she does a good job maneuvering her way through this game. Like, there is a point in every game where you have to try and maneuver your position within the house and while blue has been a target for a lot of people she has until this week been able to uh, maneuver her way out of being the main target which i think deserves some credit but what also deserves some credit is that blue went and talked to jag and matt and what she ended up doing was throwing america under the bus now yes blue and america had uh, a final two although it was fake but at that same time, America has been loyal at times to Blue, at least giving her information because, you know, America likes to talk a lot. And this week, America threw Jake and Matt under the bus about how they've been wanting her out. And Blue took all of that and went to Matt and Jake to throw America under the bus. Now, this season, that is no um, surprise. That is no major move because the entire house has told everyone everything. So that play from Blue is not like this major play, but I still appreciate the fact that she went and did that because she went and did that to save her ass. And it seems like it worked because Matt's been sick of America's gameplay from early on in this game. And I think Jag also has never really appreciated it. Jake has always wanted to keep Corey in America in this game for Corey to be this big target, although I did feel like he was being so ridiculously loyal to the two of them that it felt like he wanted to go to the final four with those two and him and Matt. But after this conversation with Blue, and then Blue goes and wins the veto, there's two vetoes, Blue won one, Jag won the other, and Blue fought for her life in this game, and she won one of the vetoes, and she deserves credit for that as well. I think Blue deserves some credit this week that despite being annoying when it comes to her being naive with Jag and Matt, she once again proved to do the right things at the right time to maneuver herself the right way in this game. And so in doing that, once Jag and Blue won the vetoes, Blue's obviously coming off, and Jag now has the idea to not just put up America, but to just put up America and Corey. Blue's gonna come down, Jag wants to use his other veto to take down Felicia, and then Corey and America go up on the block. And so finally, Jag is not only doing way too much to protect Corey and America, but he's actually wanting a lot of blood on his hands. I mean, the way he's played this week, he went from somebody so scared to do anything. Even his initial move to take out Blue didn't make a whole lot of sense for his own game. But then he, in the end, is going to have so much blood on his hands. I don't know what exactly changed that Jag was going so hardcore to protect Corey for weeks and weeks. And now he wants to be the one to take Corey out of this game because Corey would likely be the target this week. And I think... It was a sudden change, and I don't know if Blue telling him all that stuff about America is what made the change. I don't really know. You know, you could always think that maybe production is involved with maybe within the DR. They finally convinced Jag that he was doing way too much in protecting Corey. I don't know. It was a sudden change, but whatever it is, I'm glad that he is actually being ballsy finally. I mean, he had the secret HOH and didn't want to make a move. 
and now he wants to make a movie, even though he told the entire house, basically, that he is the HOH. So I guess I can't call Jag wussy pussy anymore. I'm going to take the pussy out of it. I could still call him wussy, I think, because he spent so long in this season being a wuss. And I can't just change that within one week. But I will I at least give him a little bit of respect for this move. Now, on a strategic level, I think he deserves no credit for this week because it doesn't make any sense. The way he went about this week is insane. I mean, not a whole lot of thought, and if there was thought, it was clearly a JAG special, and a JAG special means it makes no sense. Like trying to, I say this all the time, trying to follow JAG's thought processes, it's very hard. It always takes several different directions of illogicalness. Like there is no logic to any of his moves. So he, his initial noms are Felicia and Blue because he wants Blue out, and then he goes and tells the entire house except for Blue, Suri, and Felicia that he is the secret HOH. And then after Vito, he decides, actually, you know what? I'm going to make the move I probably should have done in secret and put Corey and America up on the block, even though they now know I am secret HOH. And so that could create some bad blood when I send one of them to jury, because not only is this getting a ton of blood on his hands, but it's also just not the brightest idea, like when they go to jury and discuss how he played the secret HOH week. So I, I just feel like Jag made plenty of mistakes as, as secret HOH, clearly. And, you know, Cam told Jag that he would vote for Jag to win this game, but I don't know if, Jag, if Cam's going to have influence on this jury. I mean, Cam didn't have influence socially this in, in the game, so I don't know why I would think that he's going to have influence while he's in jury. So I think he, Jake probably creates some bad blood here that if he makes the end, uh, I don't know if he has Corey or America's vote here. So it was dumb all around. And you still have Corey and America... Corey especially, he's been cocky throughout this entire game, and I feel like we are there with him again, where he, just today, he's talking about how he can beat these people in, in competitions. He thinks he just needs to beat Jag in one more. He thinks he could beat Matt in a few, and he thinks he could beat Blue every time, even though Blue has done better than him in many comps this season. So Corey has been delusional without, you know, I've said this from the moment he got out Izzy, that it was a stupid move because Corey does not have a lot of social capital in this game. And so he lost Izzy, somebody that he could have had capital with, and he already had that rocky relationship with Jared. So that just left America and Jag. Jag was the only person Corey was able to pull in. And Jag's been doing all the work for Corey, keeping him safe these last few weeks, while Corey and America have just been doing their little showman shit and not really even planning out the game well together. So I, and then the thing that actually may have caused Jag to make this move is that during the veto, you know, they were cuddling up together, Corey and America, because that's what they do all the time. And while they're all fighting for their lives in the veto, those two just look extra comfortable. So it's just a lot of dumb gameplay from Corey and America. And you know the America stands, they want to pretend like she's just been such a victim in this game. America has not been a victim in this game at all. I'm sorry, America stands, I know y'all are crazy, but uh, she has not been a victim in this game whatsoever, nor is Blue jealous of America. America is just not all, all her stands want her to think she is. Like, her game has amounted to nothing. She has not done good in competitions. Socially, she's continues to make mistakes by telling everyone too much and on a strategic level she's brought absolutely nothing to the table so if Corey goes this week america the best thing going for america is that she's not a she might not be a big target going forward but she's also could be an easy target going forward so it's like i don't know if anybody's going to really be shooting for her as next target or if they should shoot for her as next target because she's not a threat but she could also easily be a pawn and pawns go home the best thing going for America, if she can, you know, somehow make it to the end with somebody the jury might be bitter towards, like Jag. Other than that, I don't see a lot of a lot of good for America. I do see a lot of good out of Ceri's social game, of course. Ceri's been playing hard over the past week, and I think the last two weeks now, really playing the game again, 
and she has maneuvered her way socially so ep epically because last night there was the fake crying when Jag was telling her that he was secret HOH and the, her and the real plan and Suri just has everyone wanting to take her far in this game it helps that she doesn't win competitions I think that makes her seem like such little of a threat uh, but she has, you know, Blue wanting to go to the end with her. She has Felicia thinking they can go to the end together. She has a final three or final four with Matt, Jag, and Bowie. Uh, America is like the only one that she doesn't have that thing with. And if Corey goes home, I don't know if America's more really want to be gunning for Cerise. She's probably going to want to gun for Jag and Matt, much like Blue has been gunning for America and Corey because Corey put her and Jared on the block. Like everybody, you know, America stands, Corey stands, want to pretend like Blue's just playing emotionally. Uh, I think she has plenty of game reasons to want to go after Corey and America because they came after her and Jared first. So yeah, big ups to Ceri's game there. Uh, and Felicia's been in isolation for the past 24 hours because she had a punishment from Big Brother. Uh, it's probably a good thing for Felicia because she can do too much sometimes. So hopefully that isolation helped her socially. Uh, while I'm recording this, she has yet to learn that she is coming off the block and that uh, Corey and America are this week's targets, unless Jag flip-flops, which is always possible with this cast. We still have, you know, more than half a day until the actual veto ceremony. So who knows the way this cast uh, flip-flops, but Jake, Seems pretty certain with this decision, especially now that every single person in the house knows he is Secret HOH because he is still a dummy, but at least he finally uh, has some huevos in this uh, game.